Live for Speed is a racing simulator developed by a three-person team comprising Scorn Roberts, Eric Bailey, and Victor Van Vlaard Engine. The main focus is to provide a realistic racing experience for the online multiplayer game and to allow single-player races against AI cars. Users can set personal bests which can then be uploaded to LFS World in Hotlap mode, and take driving lessons in training mode. LFS is entirely distributed via the Internet. It can be downloaded and installed for free from the official website, but unlocking all of the features requires purchasing a license. Without a license it functions as a feature-limited demo, with only one track and three cars available. Releases The game is intended to be released in three parts, S1, S2, and S3. Each stage will feature improvements in many areas, such as physics model, graphics and sound. Technical improvements introduced in each new stage become available for previous stages as well, with the main difference between stages being additional cars and tracks, as well as the maximum number of players connected to a server. A fully working, commercial, alpha version of LFSS2 was released on June 24, 2005. The latest patch was released on August 15, 2015. Some backward compatibility exists. An S2 license holder may also be able to access servers for S1 or demo servers. Simulation, among other things, a physics engine simulates tires, the suspension, aerodynamics, the drivetrain, several gearbox types, clutch overheating, car body damage, and engine damage. The tire model features dynamic wear, dynamic dirt, flat spots, hot spots and tire wall deformation. The simulator supports 3D devices, including 3D TVs, headsets, projectors and Oculus Rift. Gameplay LFS features input support for steering wheels, mice, keyboards, joysticks, or gamepads. Races can either be set to end at a certain amount of laps, or be set to run for a certain length of time, as seen in endurance racing. There is support for refueling and tire changes in pit stops and mid-race adjustment of pit strategy. Pit lane speed limits of 80 km per hour are enforced by penalties similar to those seen in real motorsport, including drive-through, stop-and-go, or time penalties. Starting grids can be determined at random, from the finishing positions in the previous race, or from the results in a qualifying period before the race. A training mode is included to help drivers acquaint themselves with driving skills and the handling characteristics of each car. The lessons cover subjects such as cornering, throttle and brake control, and negotiating opponents. To pass each lesson, the lesson must be completed within a certain set of objectives. They are arranged as in sets, one for each car and ordered from slow to fast. Each lesson must be completed before advancing to the next. However, completing them is not necessary to unlock cars, as all are available in any other mode from the beginning. Cars The S2 release offers a total of 20 different vehicles. They range from beginner-friendly models to cars more suited for players with more experience. There is a broad power spectrum, ranging from under 100 horsepower to over 700 horsepower. The cars range from fictional sports cars, GTD TM like race cars and former JGTC series cars to road legal hatchbacks. While LFS car selection mainly includes fictional cars, it also has five real officially licensed cars BMW Sauber F1.06, Formula BMW, McGill University's Formula SAE, Vormit Race About 2003 concept sports car designed by Helsinki Polytechnic Stadia, Volkswagen Sirocco. Tracks, LFS has seven different fictional track areas, including one loosely based on eastern central London, one based on Jamaican surroundings and one near Kyoto, Japan. Each one of them has several different configurations and each of those can be also driven in reversed configuration. Altogether, there are 62 configurations including three rallycross tracks. Additionally, Users can create their own custom layouts using cones and other objects with the in-game autocross editor. The two car park environments in the game are useful for creating such layouts. Intel Racing Tour and V1 Championship LFS was used in Intel Racing Tour, 
a competition arranged in Germany in 2007 with a brand new BMW Z4 car is the main prize for the winner. Thanks to Intel Racing Tour, BMW Sauber F1 was introduced in the game. LFS is also related to V1 Championship which was launched in 2008 and shown on TV in the United Kingdom V1 Championship is a competition arranged by a company called V1 Championship Limited whose aim is to discover a new British racing driver talent. LFS will be used as a part of the driver selection process in addition to physical and psychological tests before testing in real cars. If successful in V1 Championship, the contender acquires a seat in a racing team and must fully commit to have a career in motorsport. Thanks to this cooperation with V1 Championship, LFS acquired a license to use the Formula BMW car and to help at modeling it to the game. An opportunity to add Rockingham Motor Speedway to LFS came through a contact from V1 Championship, and the track has been announced to be part of the S3 content. Leipzig Games Convention 2008 and VW Sirocco LFS was used by Turtle Entertainment and Volkswagen to showcase the new Sirocco in Leipzig Games Convention in 2008. A competition using LFS was held and the prize was a real Sirocco car. The Sirocco release for Live for Speed had been scheduled for December 19, 2008, however it has been delayed indefinitely due to unexpected fatal flaws in the latest patch and with the Sirocco itself forcing the LFS team to remake the suspension system and tire physics. LFS World, LFS integrates with LFSworld.net, a real-time comprehensive statistics website and database with an online skin support. Each race's online race statistics are collected including per lap personal bests, lap counts, distances traveled, and the amount of fuel burnt. Users can view other races' stats and download their hot laps as well. Also included is a database of community form teams. Additionally, there is an official world record lap time chart, where racers can upload hot laps, which exists per track and car. Users may also upload custom car skins to the website, from where the skins then are automatically downloaded as needed in game to other players. Reviews and awards PC Game World's 2003 review of Live for Speed S1 by Walter Hurdle scored 89% and said a very strong simulation that offers fun and a high level of realism. Justin Kranzl of APC Magazine called the S1 release the best PC racing simulator ever. Plit Magazine's 2004 review of LFS S1 released by Mika Currency Real Currency scored 92-100 and said saloon cars and meticulous simulation. Absolute cream of the crop. Bitazector.com's 2005 review of S2 release said nothing short of going to a track actually compares to the experience. Live for Speed is, by far, the most intense and demanding game I've ever played. In 2005, Autosim Sport magazine gave LFS their best simulation award, and Blackhole Motorsports website readers voted to give LFS the following awards BHM Game of the Year Award. BHM Best Multiplayer Award, BHM Best Physics Award. Criticism, despite announcing a VW Sirocco model, the LFS developers have so far failed to include it in the game after almost seven years. A new tire physics model has also been delayed. References External links, Official LFS Site, Official Offsworld Statistics Site, LFS Manual Wiki, LFS Forum.